Today on Rappler. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. rules out cooperation with the ICC as he questions its jurisdiction. Marcos tells China's envoy, friends don't point lasers at each other. Justice Secretary Boyang Remulia says the DOJ will not object if Laila de Lima files a writ of habeas corpus plea. The police imposes a gun ban on Cotabato province over the spate of attacks on minors. Lumpiang, Shanghai falls from its second place ranking as best street food down to 45th. The cast of hit Thai BL series Between Us is coming to Manila on May 28. And the singer of band Stephen Speaks gets his driver out of a violation by taking a selfie with a traffic official. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says he, quote, cannot see what the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court is, even as the tribunal says it would move forward with its investigation into the drug war killings under former President Rodrigo Duterte. The ICC is an international tribunal that probes and should evidence be sufficient tries persons charged with the gravest crimes of concern to the international community. The Philippines was a signatory to the Rome Statute, but in 2018, Duterte withdrew from the ICC after a probe into his bloody drug war was announced. Until those questions of jurisdiction and the effects on the sovereignty of the Republic are sufficiently answered, I cannot cooperate with them. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. had sharp words for Chinese Ambassador Huang Xilian when he summoned the envoy after China used a military-grade laser against the Philippine Coast Guard in the West Philippine Sea. Marcos says the laser-pointing incident was only a part of what we are seeing as an intensification of the actions of the Marine Militia of China. He says the two countries have to find a way around the issue, adding, quote, If we are such close friends, these are not the kinds of incidents we should be talking about. Marcos tells Huang escalations in the West Philippine Sea were, quote, not what we agreed upon with President Xi when I visited him in Beijing in January. China seeks to downplay the summoning of its envoy and insists what was used by its Coast Guard during the incident was a distance finder. Justice Secretary Boyang Remulia says the Department of Justice will not object if detained former Senator Laila de Lima files a petition for the writ of habeas corpus. He adds, quote, I am not objecting personally to any plea that will free anybody from jail. The writ of habeas corpus is the right to determine and challenge if a person is being lawfully or unlawfully detained. In January, the Supreme Court allowed the temporary release of Gigi Reyes, the former chief of staff of Juan Ponce Enrile, implicated in the pork barrel scam based on the writ. On Friday, February 24, the Lima will mark her sixth year in detention. A staunch opposition figure during the Duterte administration, she remains in jail for drug charges that have been denounced as fabricated. The Philippine National Police suspends gun permits and imposes a province-wide gun ban in Cotabato in response to a series of violent attacks. The order comes after a spate of killings in Piquit, Cotabato, where two minors were killed and several others, including two other school children, were hurt. PNP Chief Director General Rodolfo Azurin Jr. issues the order suspending permits to carry firearms outside residences taking effect on Saturday, February 18. 602nd Army Brigade Commander Colonel Donald Gumiran says, quote, One of the tools of violence are guns, and so we will stop the carrying of guns by any individual. Lumpiang, Shanghai maintains a spot on Taste Atlas's list of best street foods in the world, despite a significant fall from last year's second place. It's the only Filipino dish on the list, which is topped by China's gyoti, which are pan-fried dumplings stuffed with pork, cabbage, scallions, ginger, and soy sauce. Lumpiang, Shanghai, fried spring rolls stuffed with pork, minced onions, and carrots ranked 45th. It's 43 spots down from the dish's previous ranking in September 2022. The list also includes Mexico's tacos, Japan's karage, Vietnam's banh mi, and shawarma from the Middle East. Taste Atlas is a food database that maps dishes, drinks, ingredients, and restaurants from all over the world. The lead stars of hit Thai BL series Between Us are coming to the Philippines for their first fan meeting. Media company studio Wabi Sabi announces the show is bringing their Between Me and You fan meeting to the SM North Enta Skydome on May 28. Lead stars Bun Nupanat and Prem Warut will be joined by actors Tiwi Rapat, Ben Panupun, Yat Patsit, Oreo Puwanay, and Boston Supadash. 
Tickets are priced from 3,500 pesos to 15,000 pesos, with additional perks such as a group photo session, goodbye session, soundcheck access, photo card set, and souvenir card depending on the ticket tier. Tickets will be available starting February 26, 4 p.m. via the CDM Entertainment website. Between Us revolves around Win and team who become close in a swimming club. Stephen Speaks, the acoustic act known for its hit Passenger Seat, shares on Facebook that it was in a grab ride that got pulled over after the driver apparently ran a red light. It writes, My tour crew bribed the officer with a selfie with me to let us go. I was like, I can't believe that actually worked. It later edited the post to clarify the driver's dashcam showed he didn't actually run a red light. The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority says it is investigating the incident and stresses, quote, Fame, power, and connections are not considered free passes to avoid being ticketed. It says it is wrong that a traffic violator was not given a citation ticket just because the passenger is a well-known figure. The MMDA adds drivers and motorists who get away with traffic violations, quote, using their popularity and boasting about it online are not something to be emulated. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.